Welcome back to another quick exercise with CAD Jungle. In today's exercise, we're going to be modeling this object from this 2D drawing. Let's get started. Let's create a new component. Let's call it Gasket. Select the top view. Let's create a sketch on the visible plane. The first sketch is going to be very intense, so follow very closely. We're going to start out by using a polygon. I'm going to make this side vertical. Next, I'm going to delete the polygon constraint. I'm going to make the entire polygon construction. I'm going to start adding dimensions, following the guide. I'm going to create a construction line in the center between here and here. I want this line to be the midpoint of the center point here. I want to constrain it horizontally. I'm going to back up. It didn't give me the desired result I was looking for. Okay. I'm also going to create a vertical line from this point to this point make it vertical. Also want to constrain it to the center point here. I want this to be a vertical line as well. Continue to add dimensions. Add some more constraints. And it's finalized for the first portion. Second portion is going to be creating the guides for the outline. I'm going to use a center diameter circle, make sure it's construction. I'm going to add six circles. I want all of them to be equal to each other. I'll dimension this first circle. I'll make it 16 millimeters. Now I'm going to go ahead and start adding the solid lines for the outline. Left click and hold on the edge of this circle. Drag it over as you see the tangent constraint. You'll see a second tangent constraint that locks it into place. We're going to do this for all of the circles. Sometimes you may have to do it manually if you can't get it exact. But that's okay. I'm going to continue the line. Left click, hold and drag and it'll curve around. We get to this point here to create that arc.
Now we're going to create the inside guides. Make sure the lines intersect the circle. For the outside circle edge, we're going to use the arc command. Three point arc. Select these two points, make sure it sticks out a bit. Because subsequently, we're going to be using a concentric constraint to lock it into place. Now that all the circles are created, select the concentric constraint and lock it to the corresponding circle. We got one circle we need to create. It's going to be a solid circle. seven millimeters. We're going to make the other circles equal to that first circle. Now we have the profile we're looking for. We'll turn off the dimensions and the constraints. And that's what we're going for. Turn it back on. And next, I want to extrude this profile. I need to create these edges that are going to be raised on this face here. So I'm going to create a sketch on this face. Also going to create a series of circles. 11 millimeters for each. And as you can see, if I select here, it's going to lock into place at this center point. I want to make each one of the corresponding circles equal to the first. Select the extrude command. Select the circles we just created. There's quite a few ways you could have done this, but I did it this way for the sake of ease. I'm gonna select the front view so we can create the arch here. Create a sketch on the visible plane. Select the three point arc. Make sure it's on the edge of this line here. Make sure you don't run into any constraints we don't want to lock it in place we want to dimension it in place select this bottom point and this edge here we want the distance to be three millimeters i want the arc to be a hundred millimeters in diameter
it doesn't go across and it's not close so let's go back edit the sketch and we can just take a line and draw it from this point to this point here and it should be closed select extrude command I want the direction to be symmetric because I'm going to be cutting into this gasket distance is going to be all let's add some fillets for this one we're going to use the rule fillet lots of fun select roll fillet select six faces on the inside three four five six i only want fillets not rounds i'm going to set it to two millimeters and it's only going to fill it the inside select the fillet command again using regular fillet select the entire object set it to 0.3 this last fillet was optional wasn't required and that completes this project well I hope you enjoyed this quick exercise stick around and I shall see you in the next video